Good afternoon. I'm Benjamin Abus, Director of Public Safety for Lee County Government. Thank you for joining us for this update regarding activities post Hurricane Helene. I want to take a moment to thank our Board of County Commissioners who have been with us here at the EOC and across our community as we have worked through this event. We also want to take a moment to think of our neighbors in the Big Bend who felt the full strength and brunt of this storm. Helene presented some challenges for our community, but we appreciate what each of you have done to be as prepared as possible. Our Mercy Operations Center remains activated, and we continue to coordinate our efforts with local, state, and federal partners. We also had a number of department crews that were out in the community early this morning beginning to survey, assess, and respond to the impacts of the storm. And I have a couple of important updates for you. The Department of Transportation has assessed all of our bridges, and they are all safe. DOT continues to work to remove sand and debris from local roadways. On coastal roads, our partners at the Lee County Sheriff's Office are accompanying our crews to expedite these operations. There may be some intermittent traffic delays, but this will help us work faster and reopen these roads sooner. We also know that many of you have been following the Sheriff's Office, the Florida Department of Transportation, and the City of Sanibel's messaging regarding the Sanibel Causeway this morning. And I'm happy to share that as of noon, the causeway has fully reopened. But as we mentioned yesterday, if you do not have business or live on our barrier islands, we ask that you refrain from travel into these communities. There is still a lot of work to be done. Our Department of Community Development is hard at work as well. Many in our coastal communities saw water intrusion into their homes and businesses, and we have staff out assessing this this morning and this afternoon. The Department of Community Development has a message for any unincorporated Lee County residents who had water intrusion into their homes or any resident residing in the special flood hazard area with wind damage. Please send an email to firminfo at leegov.com for assistance with permit information and requirements. Again, please send this email to firminfo at leegov.com. Send this email today, and if you need more information, you can visit our landing page at leegov.com slash storm. If you live in one of our cities, please contact that municipality for important permit information. Our solid waste team has also been hard at work. County contractors are aggressively collecting garbage as, and residents are being asked to keep their garbage cans at the curb. Waste collectors will be working extended hours today and tomorrow to complete this work. In addition to the haulers, we have our own county inspectors out assessing damage and debris. On Saturday, crews will collect from neighborhoods normally visited on Friday and our normal collection schedule will resume on Monday. We've been getting a lot of questions about yard waste as well. Yard waste must be placed in a container that weighs no more than 50 pounds. Alternatively, it can be securely tied into bundles, no heavier than 50 pounds and no longer than six feet at length, and both should be placed at the curb. Emergency management is pleased to announce that our safe havens implemented for the storm successfully served 28 individuals in Estero and 45 individuals in North Fort Myers. This morning, our safe havens have ceased operations. Lee County Parks and Recreation staff continues to assess our parks locations across the community. Many of these sites have returned to normal operations, but some of them are temporarily closed. Please visit our website at leegov.com for information about specific closures. As we continue throughout today to recover from Helene, keep in mind that our hurricane season continues. Thank you for the preparations that you took, and we are here for you as we continue our recovery together. We'll continue to update leegov.com storm and our social media channels as new information becomes available. Thank you.